Hello and this is going to be Monster Knights Action RPG. Not necessarily an idle game, you will have some bread and you will be able to do so so many sweeps, so many raids to the previous campaigns that you have played. Like for example if you have 3 stars for different kind of campaigns, you are going to be able to raid them depending on how many bread do you have. Uh, you're going to have different kind of number of chances for each specific map over there. Uh, you will figure that out, it's not going to be that hard. Now the good part about this game is the fact that it has so so many, uh, let's say, game modes. You will also have modes over here that will uh, let you, uh, let's say, control each hero. You will swipe between your heroes, you will select different kind of heroes and you will be able to actually control some of the heroes you'll have in the boss over here uh, you're going to send in the battle five main heroes that you're going to have and you're also going to have a pet now if you're going to unlock new and new pets you can change between them swap them some of them offer you attack speed some of them offer you magic attack and so on now i will be able to uh, play actually with one of the heroes or put it on full mode okay full auto my bad now i'm actually using him on full auto because i do not want to touch the phone in order for you not to hear any uh, let's say different sounds but you can actually play with the hero you also have a uh, different kind of other modes besides the world boss like for example uh, team dungeon over here this is where you actually are going to uh, uh, let's say uh, move your hero around you're going to create a room over here and you're going to play with two different kind of uh, let's say active players over here and you're going to need to destroy this ice fire tank i'm not going to jump into it but it's an awesome awesome feature that you're going to be able to find now besides those you're going to be able to raid quite quite a lot of things if you have already uh, unlock them uh, you're going to get stuck eventually into the campaign so honestly that's really really bad regarding that fact so let's jump into a campaign and let's hit battle over here uh, remember you're going to be able to have up to uh, five main heroes different kind of factions that you have over here night orcs uh, elves and uh, the dark ones if i remember correctly uh, i can't remember the light but who knows uh, this is still an early game okay so we will we will see for sure some new and new upgrades uh, from what i saw this is the only server uh, active only server one uh, over here you're going to be able to uh, uh, let's say rumble with uh, different kind of action battles and a lot a lot of fantastic bosses the the graphic is really really nice okay so in this monster knights your hero is controllable you can uh, tap your hero portrait to quickly switch the controlling hero during a battle uh, you can summon heroes from four races okay so not uh, the the graphic is really really nice okay so in this monster knights your hero is controllable you can uh, tap your hero portrait to quickly switch the controlling hero during a battle uh, you can summon heroes from four races okay so not uh, five uh, that what i was trying to say so you're going to have the human the elves the orcs and the demons so no light one and you're going to have three different kind of classes you're going to have the warriors the archers and the mage uh, you're going to I'll be able to have different kind of handling techniques for each one so obviously each hero has different kind of skills and you can have the auto battle mode as i was uh, mentioning earlier now this is something like an mmo game uh, because you're going to have some gameplays that you can play with other uh, other uh, online players as well and uh, you're going to need to summon a lot a lot of heroes different kind of rarity was uh, mentioning earlier now this is something like an mmo game uh, because you're going to have some gameplays that you can play with other uh, other uh, online players as well and uh, you're going to need to summon a lot a lot of heroes different kind of rarities sssr heroes and so on uh, if you play enough into the campaign uh, you're going to unlock new and new things remember in order for you to raid them actually you will need at least three stars okay so you cannot uh, raid those specific uh, let's say stages if you do not have three stars now the game was launched somewhere around january 2023 if i remember correctly so the game developers have different kind of other games as well so this is uh going to be the monster knight action rpg they have royal knight tales uh, an animated rpg i will film that one as well because i have that one uh, on my device 
and for sure uh, you're going to see similarities because the idea is pretty similar but you're going to have different kind of heroes in the game okay now a lot a lot of events uh, you can change the lineup over here uh, too bad that you cannot actually change one in the back two in the back or whatever but uh, they're all going to go and just fight okay so don't bother with that you're going to have the homeland over here and in the hall you're going to be able to collect your idle income okay now remember this is only the only idle feature so with these resources you're going to be able to use them only over here now the bad part is the fact that from here uh, what you can get you cannot necessarily use in your main game okay so you're going to have even the mining option over here and you have 12 pickaxes okay so don't quickly quickly use them because if you're going to get a chest here it is like this one it will consume three and only afterwards i'm able to collect the those resources now these stones for sure you will use them on different kind of heroes okay those are definitely cool but but the other features like for example wood or iron you will only use them in the defense mode over here in order for you to actually upgrade your defense system in the main castle like for example over here you're going to be able to upgrade the spikes so here it is i'm going to consume this thing over here and also some of those stones and i'm able also to select different kind of uh, things magic tower for example and i'm going to try to upgrade them and they will do more attack when i'm going to get attacked now you can change different kind of situations over there uh, for your specific uh, specific defense if you're going to want to do that and you're going to have the hunting option now in this hunting option you're going to use only only three heroes every time only three heroes now the bad part is that their health will get decreased every time you're going to jump into the fight and you will not be able to pass so so many stages okay so you will go i don't know most probably one or two stages and afterwards uh, you will uh, need to place other heroes and so on and so on uh, but as long as you're going to get the resources it's going to be decent enough now you're going to need to upgrade your heroes in order for you to upgrade your heroes start them up you're going to need a lot a lot of shards and those shards you're going to get them by raiding again again and again those different kind of stages in the campaign mode okay and eventually you're going to have like for example this here over here and you're going to have the runes you will hit quick add if you do not have that rune you just select it like for example let's go for this guy okay and if no, i already have him but uh, if i wouldn't had those uh, those uh, let's say those runes i would be able to go straight towards that campaign stage and try to fight as much as i can you're going to have the gear option over here place the best gear on your hero these are the heroes that you will just start the game with didn't play it that much uh, but uh, let's hope that they will do more and more improvements uh, you're going to have the clan option now the clan you're going to have the clan boss over here so try to play over here as well because if you have enough active players you're going to get enough resources now the bad part is the fact that you will not be able to do so many summons in this game okay so you'll have the summoning option but it's going to be really really expensive for you to get those tickets and in order for you to get those tickets let's go for two okay let's buy them with gems and let's try to summon 10 over here and let's see what we're going to get i'm going to hit skip and here it is a new ssr gump and you are really low okay so i'm going to hit return and right now in my hero department here it is uh, i already have one extra so it doesn't matter but you're going to have the quest okay so watch out for the quest the daily quests do matter because you're going to get a ticket at the end you're going to get a lot of bread depending on how much will you play and you have different kind of options in the campaign so for example you have normal one and you have elite one in the elite one if you're going to be able to get three stars from the boss over here if i will um, fight him it is the possible loot it's also some shards for specific heroes okay so that's how you're going to be able to farm for specific shards for different kind of heroes if you're going to play enough in the into the comp elite campaign now over here i cannot get three stars for this guy because he's really really tough and you will also have a recommendation for each specific uh, each specific stage over here they kind of tell you what kind of heroes to use at least in the boss stages over here so recommended heroes 
Uh, if you have played this one, drop a comment. Let me know in the comments below how far did you reach. Uh, honestly, not necessarily a game for me, but hey, they did something decent enough. Guys, until next time, take care. Don't forget to check out the dungeons. Play them daily over here. Try to get as many loot as you can. And let me know how far did you reach. Until next time, be safe. Bye.